Wait for it. I love this part. Love this part. Wait for it. Love this part. Hello, Bouncy! Thank you very much, Fury. Hello, everybody! Thank you for coming by yet again, and... Oh! Look! Hey! I got a new skin! Uh, what is it? Angel of Light TV, basically, just an hour ago, got done with his charity live stream. Like, just a couple hours ago. It's insane. He raised, uh, $2,000 for Samaritans? Fantastic guy. Had us definitely all in tears. Proud of him, what he did. Fantastic guy. Um, this is the newest one. It won't be on the dress up thing, but there are going to be the new ones. I do have, uh, what is it, at the bottom of the list there, I have uh, Puka Dragon Princess. I have Puka into Space, which is Thomas to Space, and then Puka Owl Christmas. Uh, Owl Croissant gave me a Puka Christmas outfit where basically I have a, an, an ugly Christmas sweater on. So I added all of those to the models and actually we're gonna add yet another one uh, along with the Puka Angel. We are gonna add one more onto here which is gonna be La Penguis because I said I wanted to add hers in and I constantly forget about it. So we're gonna do that. We're going to add in Le Penguis. 
So let's go ahead and grab in all the files that we need. We need the Penguin's Scarf. And this is the one that I want to work on because I think this one's the cutest. But we also need, since we just have a scarf, we do actually kind of need pants for myself. So we're gonna just do this really quickly and then we are gonna get into the journey animation because I wanna make sure that I get this done. <laughs> because I told her I was going to get it done and I haven't, hadn't, need to. Let's see here. I want textures, puka, oh, Minecraft skins, puka skins, and we want, oh, which one? This one. We want the PNG version of this, I believe. Yes. We want the PNG version. Scroll in. There's our pants. We can get our pants on. And we can get the motion capture large. Just because uh, how Unity works, it's, it's not great with uh, pixel textures. Uh, so I'm going to have to do it this way for right now. So, uh, let's get rid of Draken Princess's outfit there. And we're going to do this. Yeah, it is an ugly sweater. Um... Those horses are taking it way too far, right? Pants? Who needs pants? Um, I try to I try to keep them on, especially when I'm out in public, like right now. When uh, let's see here, there is currently um, oh my thing isn't going to show me. I don't know how many people are watching, but there's a fair amount about people watching. I'm going to say about ten people watching. Bang bang. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh no, that actually brings up a point. There's a... I gotta figure out how how all of that works. But, uh, if anybody changes my outfit, there's a little surprise animation that I added to this whole thing. Whole shebang. So, let's go ahead and grab my pants and put them on. So, the way Unity works for, for these characters is... Uh, Irritating, and I wish I knew Unity better so that way I could control these models better. But we're just gonna have to work with what we got. Let's go ahead and we're gonna delete part of the Pe Penguin's thing. This is the part of making the skins for this model that takes the most time. I have to take out all the parts that I don't want and just take the parts that I do want. And. I have to cut out little things. Notice on the angel skin here, all those little torn bits there. I had to pull out every single little pixel of it. I had to just select a single pixel, delete it, and then, the, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a pain. But the results were really good. I like it. I like the little torn robes, and the wings aren't a part of angel's skin. Those, of course, I pulled from needcoolshoes.com just pulled apart someone's stuff all right there we go we got the scarf that we want go ahead and copy that exit out of this no i don't want to save paste good let's put this up into the top corner here all right there uh yes that should do and then we want to take all of this Let's flatten image. No. How does this work? Yeah, we're gonna flatten image. Flatten an image. Uh, discard hidden layers. Okay. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. That's right. My bad. My bad. I don't know what I'm doing. Merge visible. Mm, there we go. Copy this. Oh, hey, Sleepy. How you doing? Hi, doing sleepy, and we are going to go into here, paste in this, and transform this up scale. Do 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 do. Let's get this precise. Good. Enter. Ta-da. File. Save as. And I want to name this Motion Capture Large. This is going to be uh, Puka Penguin Scarf. Puka Penguin Scarf. And you are going to be a PNG. 
Save. Okay, and then just save everything else. Alright, that should do it. Yep, we're fine. Wait a minute. No, did I save it? Did I save it? Puka Penguin Scarf. Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. Alright, now let's get out of this. We don't need that anymore, and we have up Unity already loaded. Let's get in... Ooh, wait, wait, that's right. Um... I've got something I need to do really quickly, and to make sure you guys don't see it, I've got to pull this up here. So I'm going to put this up here so you guys can't see something, because I pulled up the wrong model. Uh, I need to bring up mm, Unity. There we go, and I want this one. There we go. <laughs> the Bush of Shame. <laughs> All right? Okay. Bush away. There we go. <laughs> Bush of shame. Yes, we're gonna call that now. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna edit this now inside of my in my stream. I'm gonna edit it to that. Rename. We're gonna name this the Bush of Shame. Uh trademark Wiggly Fox. Okay, there we go. It is now trademarked by Wiggly Fox, the Bush of Shame. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I forgot to say that I have that in there too. Uh, that's not on the list. <laughs> it's on the list. It's in there. There is the Ben skin as well. That's in there. Let's go ahead and bring in the Penguin Scarf here. Do 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 do. There it is. We want to make this alpha transparency, yes. Um, filter mode, none. And apply. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go over to this guy, go to the body, and we're going to edit the skin. Where is the Puka Penguin skin? Do -do. Puka Penguin scarf, here we go. And then that's the color. Now we need for the shading as well, which is that. And then the file. Mm, we're just going to do a quick save here. Select the entire thing. Export humanoid. Model 1. Export. And we have Puka Penguin. We're gonna go call it a penguin scarf. We're gonna call it penguin scarf. Save. All right, there we go. Now that should be all in there. Get rid of you. Bring up Unity or this thingy. Puka penguin scarf. Where are you at? Uh, there you are. Ba ba ba. We have a scarf. Woop woop. Let's go back to camera one. Awesome. Yay! We have a scarf now. Now I won't feel guilty about constantly forgetting about it. <laughs> oh. You know what? You know what? I need to, at some point, um, like on, uh, on a week that I'm not doing the Journey Project... Like, if I want to take a break from the Journey Project, maybe I should just do a live stream where I add people's skin to mine. Because that didn't honestly take too awfully long. It did take 15 minutes, but uh, it didn't take too long. And it probably would be fun just to add skins on top of them. Just to make a subcategory of that. <laughs> Yeah, there was the there was the thing about the scarf looking kind of like a Louis uh, Waluigi. <laughs> wow, It's it's okay. Um, Unity, I it, maybe I'll think that Unity is a cooler program if I understand it more. <laughs> Laser go, -ra 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 -ra. Laser go, -ber. all right. 
So, the main event of why we're here is we need to get on with this nether fight. So, last time we didn't do a whole lot. Thank you, Nightbot. I haven't done anything yet in order to warrant a control S, but it does remind me that I need to add in my screen cap keys where I can go control S and save everything. Ta -da! Uh, time for this old man to hit the bed. As always, have a wonderful stream and give your best to my family. Will do. Part of the family is snuggling up right next to me. Nice heated water bottle, as they are called. Puppies. I know, you're a good boy, puppers. There you go. Pups. Um, so, last time, we didn't get too much done. We basically just got from here... That's about it that we got done, but that was a lot. So we got Angel of Light putting down some wall pieces. We got myself putting some lettering in the air, flying around. And yeah, that. and we got more of the walking of the Jeff bot over there. And actually what I want to do is let's go over here and I'm gonna change something at the Emerald Block. I want this emerald block to be a an emission. So let's go ahead and do that. Do 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 color and I think let's do an add oops, no, shift A. Shader emission. And we are going to put the color here and go straight to there. So now layout yes all right and then let's see about getting this emission shader up shading emission strength there we go that's what we're looking for yeah that's that's cool i like that so now while it's walking now it looks a little bit more imposing yeah, just the changing of the eyes. That's all you had to do. <laughs> uh... <laughs> hey, Mr. Stereo! Alright, so... Another fight! Uh, start out like this. With the robot coming in and then that... That thingy. So... What else do we need to get in? We need to get in everybody doing their thing. Uh, uh, oh, that's one thing I need to do. I need to put in Orca Stereo's skin. That's right. Uh, Discord. Let's go ahead and bring a private conversation and grab the skin. Open original. Save image as, and let's just put it in its proper space. Minecraft skins, friends skins, where is Mr. Orca Stereo? There you are. Orc one, iron orc one. <laughs> iron orc. Uh, wonder what the hit points on that orc is. All right, and let's go ahead and put that skin in there. There we go. Now I have the right skin in. Whoop! Ta-da! Just that easy. Let's... You know what? Orc needs to be flying around, so let's see if we can do that. His movements have got to be a little bit more fluid. So... How do we want to do this? I think... Um... I think I should probably have him enter the frame. So from here, I think uh, he'll be off off screen. Let's do that. Mm, which frame is the first frame? First frame is here. So let's go ahead and move you over here and let's have you fly in. Don't worry, I've done this before. <laughs> Was it, um, Evil's Fault? 
Evil's Fault animation, the first thing I made with Evil's Fault wasn't the first thing that you see. That was, um, the first thing I made for Evil's Fault was the, was the Dreamer. That's what her name is, the Obsidian Ghost. Uh, she, her flying around was the first animation that I made for that. So, I've learned a few things since then. So, we'll try doing that. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to get the path for Mr. Orc here. Alright, so... Alright, so he's gonna be a war. Okay. No, that doesn't work that way. Let's go back a bit and over and down because <laughs> I just added in one keyframe. One keyframe does an animation not make. Yeah, it's way too slow. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's keep on that trajectory. Right, like so. Have you turn a bit here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Alright, good. Let's come on down. So, let's do that a little bit. And then keep on turning. Okay. Okay, there's a little bit of jostling here, but that's fine. That'll be fixable. And then we want to come downwards with this. And over. Like so. Okay, not so much. Let's see what we can do about this. Okay, right here, this needs to move outward a bit. Right here. Right here is a problem, too. Let's see about deleting this keyframe. Yes. Let's bring this upward a bit, too. Like so. Okay, good. Let's bring this downward a bit, actually. And then this one back here needs to be brought down as well. Let's bring you down. Don't quite like it. Let me bring this up here. Nope. We're gonna have to do some staggering. Staggering of some keyframes, and I think that'll be okay. Let's grab location Y. No, we want Z. Yeah, no, no, Y. We want, want Y. Let's change Y and Z. Okay, let's do the same thing to this guy. Stagger this up a bit. Nope. Don't like it. Nope, still don't like it. I think what I'm going to have to do is not mess with anything at all. And... I think I know what I'm going to do. So this guy is going to have to just act through, act through that little jump there. Thank you for the follow there, Loli, Loali, Loali. Thank you for the follow very much. Alright, so as we animate the body, uh, this little stagger right here. That little stagger right there, that I don't like too much. So, I'm gonna have to act through it. So, he's gonna have to do some things right here. We're basically, bring down that arm a bit. Yep. No, don't do that. Like so, good, good. Bring out that arm. 
gonna bring out that arm a bit. There you go. Bring out this arm a bit. Okay, good. And we want these two to remain straight as well. Grab these knee points. There we go. And we want the head to be facing this way, so. Good. And then as you come into this corner, you need to have your arms stretch out like so. And this arm to stretch out like so. And these legs to move in like this direction as well, kind of. And the body to start leaning into this curve too. As we come up to this this point here, hmm. As we come up to this point, we're gonna have to move the body up as well and rotate you forward. Hey, hey, Polka. hey, don't hey. forget. Control plus S. <laughs> Thank you very much, Le Penguin. Um, I don't want to say that you're obsolete, and I think you're the world of you. But we have added in Nightbot to tell me every 15 minutes at least. <laughs> don't worry, you're not obsolete. We still love you. <laughs> purple, you, you know what? Your purple scarf should remind me. It should remind me. It should remind me. <laughs> right? Text-to-speech is funny. Um, especially when somebody tries to say Dragon Bros. It's just like, Dragon Brothers. Dragon Brothers. <laughs> uh, we want to bring this guy down and this guy up. And then bring these legs out to the side a bit more. And up. Bring them up to. And then these ones kind of off to the side here a little bit. So that way, it's still pushing off to one side though. Okay. Okay. Okay, that goes up, and then straight. Let's go ahead and change that up, shall we? Let's keep on going up. Okay, so once we come to this height, we need to add some more of you in here. Uh, something doesn't feel right. Hmm. Something still doesn't feel right. Lock, rock, scale. Yeah, for something, for some reason, that didn't uh, work out right quite the way I wanted it to, and I couldn't quite figure out why. I think there was a problem with the auto keyframing. I don't think I added in location. Yeah, that's a lot better. Alright, and then from this point here, from this point here, you need to start slowing down. So, you're going to start to lean that back. That outfit is not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Oh no. Something went wrong. Uh, trigger fire animation. How did that not work? Huh. Well, that was weird. Hold on, just a second. Uh, outfit change. No one else can do this command but me. Uh, outfit change list one. 
That outfit is not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Interesting. Why are you down there? You shouldn't be. You really, really, really shouldn't be. Main monitor. Bush. Avatars. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh, that is gonna have to take some investigation. No. Trigger fire. Trigger fire should be up here. Do, do, do. And then main outline is right here. That's the main outline. Trigger fire. Alright, let me try that again then. Copy. That outfit is huh. not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Interesting. That shouldn't... What if I move you up here? What happens? Do you get cut off? That outfit is it does. not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Apparently, it's the trigger fire properties. Because it's not located correctly in there. It was literally working like just before the stream was. Refresh cache of current page. Alright, and then do it again. That outfit there it is goes. not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! There we go. All fixed. Yay! <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's do Puka Owl Christmas, please. Sure thing, we can do that. Hey, Puka, guess what? We got you a present from... From, from uh, Owl. It's like, it's it's Owl's hoodie again, isn't it? No, no, we actually got a sweater. Wait, you've you've started stealing all of her stuff? No, she made it for you. Oh, oh, you're just being a deliver. Here I was thinking that you guys were actually, you know, being all, all steely yet again. And oh, you know what? Thank you. Here, I'm going to put it on right away. Hold on, let me just hide behind my bush really quickly, and I'm gonna give it a quick change, all right? Okay. You know, this, I, I think you guys, uh, I'm suspicious of you guys, and I'm sorry about that. It's Christmas time. I really shouldn't think of, think of that uh, about you, but yeah, yeah, this, it's probably the, for the best that I stop thinking of you like that. Okay, well, we really didn't steal it, but we did steal it. Okay, bye. Oh, so they did steal it. No! Ah. Oh. So, yes, this is the outfit. I got to give you a twirl of this because there is a there is a back to this. Let's go ahead and um when dragging free layout. Here we go. There we go. And let's give this a little twirl. We got uh, ourselves a scarf on here and stuff. The way that the texture is set up, I have it so that um, part of the the chest works with the tail. But I interpret this as though Owl had made part of the sweater to also fit around my tail. Just for aesthetic reasons. Not because it's cold, but just because it looks cute. So there's the sweater wraps around my tail as well. And I also kind of have a hat on. I like the hat. Hat is good. <laughs> so, that is that. And let's load in camera number one. And transparent window, free layout. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it, Owl. Thank you. Alright, so now we need to get Owl to... Um, not Owl. We need to get Orca Stereo to stop, so... Mm, this point right here, he needs to start leaning backwards. Let's lean you on backwards and do 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 do, and then bring your head forward. There we go. 
Uh, zoom on in, because we need to grab these hand bones and bring them forward. There we go, bring them forward and bring these legs forward too. Bring them out front. Okay. And then bring these out like so. And then head down. Okay, and then it needs a midway step. I'm pretty sure something's gonna go wrong here. Yeah. Uh, not that bad, actually. Just pull this down a little bit. And then these actually are, turn out just fine. But let's pull these guys down too. Yeah, that didn't turn out too bad. I thought thought the everything was gonna be all womp, wonky or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so once they, he comes in, he needs to slow down a bit and then come backwards. So forward, forward, and still going forward and down. Let's go forward and down. Okay, forward. Yes, there we go, and then come backwards a little bit too. and down as well. All right, and then that should, uh, mm, a little too slow. Let's go ahead and shrink this up, make it a faster stop. Whoa. Yeah, I like that, I like that. Good, because now he can come upwards and start firing at some of the Jeffs. So he'll come upwards a bit and back and then start firing. Yeah, I like that. I like that swirl. There we go. And let's get some ambient float in here. Yeah, some ambient float. There we go. That should do. Good, good, good. <laughs> hmm. You know, I opened a monster yesterday, and I am now, just now, only halfway through this monster. That's how careful I am with this this stuff. This is monstrous. <laughs> ah! As the music pauses, just for my bad pun. <laughs> Love puns. Absolutely love puns. The bigger the ground, better. The more I like it. If uh, if a pun causes physical pain, then it's great. If uh, someone says a pun and they go, "Oh, all oh, that physically hurt." Oh, I love that type of pun. Love it. Used to be addicted, but kicked all surgery, um, sugary drinks. Oh, sugary drinks ago. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 not the best thing for me. But um, hey, if I can drink like one can within three days, I feel okay about myself. down and this way and then this this one is just going to guide guide him around and he's gonna start firing on things here and that way lean backwards this way there we go there's your hero pose for you Orca Stereo's Hero Pose. Ba -ba -ba. Only seen on stream, though. <laughs> uh, let's get that render going. Oh, that's right. I need to get Orc's uh, glowy bits glowing. 
Yeah, when I when I can, I want to start separating the skin here, and I want to start making some of those glowy bits glow. <gasps> better, better yet. Thank goodness. I am so glad I didn't do that to the skin. I have a much better and easier way to make all of those glowy bits glow. You know how you do that? You add on more objects. So I just take a small cube and put it right in between the first and second layers of the skin here. I just put like a plane or something like in there. So that way I don't have to um, mess up like the, the mesh that I currently have. All I gotta do is add in some more objects, like just some squares and stuff, and it'll glow for me. Why didn't I think of that before? I'm glad I thought of it now before I did all that stuff. Thank God. That would have been a nightmare. Alright, so it comes in. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. And now, now that he's doing this, let's get some leg movement, just some ambient movement on those legs. That's okay. And let's separate these legs from what they're doing. Like so. Actually, let's do that beforehand. Get rid of this keyframe here. Yeah, like that. And then this one can do a little bit of everything here, there, everywhere. Oop, nope, not want. I do not want rotate. I want translate. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, and then this hand, this hand is gonna be shooting at all of these. You know what? No. I think he's gonna be firing at the Jeff bot, I think. I think he's gonna come in, fire, fire a couple times. So right here, comes in, fires at like one Jeff duplicate, and then from that point starts firing at the Jeff bot. I think that'll be what, what'll happen. And then, yeah, and then you'll just be right here. Like so. There we go. Choo, 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 choo. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Alrighty. I think that's how we're going to do that. Let's get his body to move kind of ambulantly as well. Just a little bit, not too much. We just need some pixels to move around. There we go. Yeah. Good, good, good. That I like that. I like that a lot. Whoa. Whoa. Uh Techno Grim. No, Techno Mage Grim. Hey, how you doing, Grim? Nice to see you again. Thank you for dropping 300 bits. Goodness. I didn't think I would ever hear hear that sound come up. <laughs> I had everything set up for for the earthbound sounds of of the of the uh, ice the ice spell in earthbound but thank you grim thank you very much appreciate it all the hugs to grim and in order to get your little character to give grim a hug down there all you have to do is do a command hug space techno mage grim just like this to give him a little hug and your character will walk right on over to him and give him little hearts there he is there's he's there he is on screen give him a little heart give him hugs give him hugs the hugs <laughs> uh, quick hello and goodbye as i head to bed all right well good night grim <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and get some. Ooh, 
Basketball. Basketball. Ah, red team, blue team. Or purple team. Oh, control S. Thank you, Notbot. Control S. Alright, so we got that going. Um, let's go ahead and get Genfire firing off some arrows. We don't even have uh, Angel of Light working on the wall there either. Uh, let's let's come over here to Jen really quickly. Figure out how to get her going. Jen, what's with the expression? Are you tired or irritated? Oh, that's what I that's what I put you on, isn't it? That's my fault. It's my fault that you're irritated. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Do do do. Let's bring these down. And let's get these eyes up. And let's actually get a angry face on you. It's probably not going to be seen uh, seen that much, but we at least have that. Do, do, do. Do, do. All right, so in order to get her to fire arrows, we need what? Where do we start out? We gotta start out here. We're gonna start out in a draw, bow draw position. And we need to get those legs in a position too. Look at those legs. That's not how you hold and stand holding a bow. Get those legs in position. What are you doing? You know what you're doing. Scoot you on over. Much better. Much, much, much better. There we go. Let's pull this hand on up. And this one into position. So we're going to start out... Uh, do, 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 like so. And we don't need to... What happened to your eye? <laughs> what happened to Jen's eye? What? Okay, well, I'm glad I can't see her face in this thing, but something happened to her. Uh, that one, okay. Um, let's go ahead and take both of these. We're gonna move these on over to here. There. Much better. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Uh, alrighty, so, alright, so from here, you need a, f I think what we need to do is start aiming the body here, so let's go ahead and do that, so I think from here to there, you need to, you need to kind of come up with the bow, so let's do that. Go to median point. Let's do that. Like so. Let's grab these things and bring them over here. And then bring it up, I think, here. Right there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then from here, from here we can let go of the bow. Uh, no, actually, we can pause it right here. Let's give it a little bit of a movement here. And then fire it. From here. And then let's also arc arc the body back a little bit. Let's get these individual points. Arc the body. Mm, that's not going to work properly, is it? And let's do this. There we go. And 
bring these body downward. <laughs> she fires right on the in the step of the uh, robot. Cool. Let's fix this bow. So this bow has bones as well, and I really like this free resource that it has. This bow is really cool, so let's come back to this point here. Right here, I think I'm gonna let go of the bow. Um, so this needs to be drawn back first. So let's go ahead and draw this back. And then let go. Do, 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 do. Right there. And this comes forward like so. Alright. Yeah, and from this angle, you really can't see too much. Yeah, from that angle, it looks pretty good. Hmm. Good job. <laughs> I like how everybody puts a couple S's on on sleep now. Heading off to bed. An honor to watch. Oh, thank you very much, Sork. Take care. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I'm I'm honored that you would let me use your your music. Thank you. Dude, Emmy Award winning Orca Stereo. Orca Stereo. Uh, dude is letting me use the music for this. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Huh? <laughs> I know how to work this. I know how to work this. Orc Stereo. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it, it doesn't work. Uh Yeah, that doesn't work. The the same commands don't work from night, Nightbot to uh from stream elements to Nightbot. I've made a mistake. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. I appreciate you so incredibly much. What the heck? What the heck? Technomage Grimm's uh, 300 bits just now showed up on my feed. I saw it, I, I had the sound, I had it show up in chat, but it just now shows up inside of my feed. That is weird. Bits with lag, right? All right, let's get that arrow. So, what do I want to do for this arrow? I want to make this arrow really cool. And I want to be able to see this arrow from a distance. So, how do I make a Minecraft fire arrow really cool? Uh, I think what I can do is I'm going to put in an arrow but I think I'm gonna make a particle effect and see if it helps or not. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try it and put in an arrow and I'm gonna see about adding in some particle effects. Let's go ahead and go to MC Prep. Excuse me, and put in an arrow. Place arrow. 
Turn you like so, and like so. Bring you on up, and over a bit. There you go, and where do you shoot the arrow? Right here, so let's move our object transformation from here. Ooh, let go of that. Layout, there we go. So here, it's gonna fire off. So let's see what we can do about this. So it's gotta fire off, and I'm gonna have it point in... I'm gonna have it go like so. And it's gonna ha hit a person right here. And then this is gonna be linear. So it's not gonna have a speed up or a slow down. Yeah. Let's bring this upward a bit. Now I gotta make that look cool. And in order to do that, I think I gotta add in some particle effects. So, and also I think I need to make that, um, I think I need to make that a little bit faster as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make it a little faster. Yes. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna make it, uh, let's have her point downward instead. Let's have her point downward. Uh, zoom on in. Grab onto these two. Let's do this. Nope, that's not how it's gonna work. Global. Not individual origins. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Much better. Much, much better. I think that's going to be good. Alrighty. Yes. Okay, I think that's going to do good, and we're going to remove this arc that we have here, and we're gonna just move this right on down. It's gonna be whizzing right by Evil X here. Let's move it a little bit to the left. There we go. It's gonna be whizzing right by him. Let's continue to bring down that arc. Yes, I think I like that. I think I like that very much. So let's go ahead and finish, fix its starting position, which is all wonky now. There we go. I knew it. Robin Hood style. Mm hmm. What type of Robin Hood? There's several types of Robin Hood. I've got two of my favorite Robin Hoods are Men in Tights and the Disney one with um, the animated Disney one. Those are my two favorite Robin Hoods. Men in Tights and Robin Hood. Uh, Dis animated Disney. Yeah. Tom Holland one. I don't know who he is. Marion? 
Merida? Hmm. So, particle effects. I think I'll just have uh, something attached to it. So let's come over to this arrow really quickly. And let's add in a mesh. So we're going to add in a... Well, we'll add in a cube, scale it down, and you are going to be partnered with this arrow. Let's give this a partner to object, and we want this thing to have... Oh, do, 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 do. Let's give it a transparent texture. I think I have one of those. Transparent. Okay, good. Got that up. We want a particle system, new particle system. And it's going to start at 1042. 1042. And it's going to go for... Go for how many frames? Zero. Punk. And then it's going to stay there. We're going to keep it there for... We're going to keep it up there to 1184, I think. 1184. That's going to be the particle system's duration. Yeah, I like that. That already is kind of cool. Pure. That is fantastic. <laughs> Control save. Thank you very much, Nutbot. Sorry, everyone. Had to get myself some Cheerios. Someone wasn't feeling too great in my stomach. Just some dry Cheerios always helps settle things down. For sure. Let's get some particle effects in here. So a good way to get things moving on this is we're going to go right below the world here. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. Ha! Huh? It doesn't matter! Let's go over to unused. Uh, pet treat. Sharing is caring. <laughs> One of them is already looking at me going, Why have you awoken me? You have awoken to beast. I mean, Remy, 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 stop roaching and have some treats. There you go. Dog just lays on his back and kicks up his legs. And he's just just pushing all of the blankets away. I'm just like, no, that's that's not how this is supposed to work. Where's your face, Jasmine? There you go. There you go, Jasmine. Go, Carl. Alright, all three puppies got their churros. Mm. <laughs> the pain movie bot, you have summoned yourself. I like that, where you type in dogs and PenguiBot says. <laughs> Alright. So what we can do is we can go over to unused and we're going to add in a new thing here. And this is going to be fire particles. So when we render this, all we have to do is hit the unused up here and all of this disappears. So that way none of it renders in. So let's go ahead and add in uh, a plane and we are just gonna grab and pull this up a little bit. We're going to add in a new emission. We want emission and we want an orangey red one. Let's make this pretty bright. Okay, put this into fire particle here. Fire particle one. No, dot, dot, zero, zero, zero. If you have a uh, chance to ever 
label any of the objects inside of Blender um, something that Blender itself will automatically name things as helps keep things organized. So the next one that I duplicate this with will become 001. So duplicate this guy and it becomes 001. Duplicate this guy and it becomes 002. And this guy here, let's go ahead and name this Fire Particle um, Material dot zero zero zero. And all we have to do is for this one, duplicate the thing and it becomes zero zero one automatically. Let's make that a deeper red. And there we go. And then this one, let's split that off. It automatically becomes zero zero two and make that a little bit more yellow. Actually, you know what? Let's make it a little bit more white, actually. There we go. Got got some range there for the particles and then we want to take that same arrow thingy and we are going to do a render of those particles what do you want render oh jasmine you're all uncovered again i know i woke you up with cheerios there you go lay down Come here, Remy. You can lay down too. You're a good boy. Okay. There you go. Uh, good boy. There we go. And there you go. Good lay down puppers. They're all. They're all tired from today. They had some practice over at the kennel club. Uh, <laughs> it's a little outdated now. <laughs> and there's that outfit is not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change. Uh, I think you need some Draken vibes in your life. <laughs> Do I? It's like, hey Puka, hey Puka, we got we got something for you. It is a new, it's the new dress for you. It's like, okay, wait, a new dress? It's just like, I'm, I'm okay with wearing dresses, but why are you, why are you giving me old dresses to wear? It's okay, don't worry. This one we didn't steal. This one was actually given to us. It's like, are you sure? I mean, seriously, this sweater vest was taken, and you said you didn't take it. I cannot believe anything you said. It's okay. This one she gave to us. It's all right. Don't worry. All right, fine. All right, let me hide behind my bush of shame and put on the new dress. So, bush of shame. Let's go to this, load up, and we want to put on this. Oh, this one's kind of leathery. I like this one. Oh man, there's some kind of leather armor to it, some lace. Colors kind of blend in with my fur, but you know, it works. Uh, do 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 do. Let's go ahead and step out of the bush. Here's Draken's princess outfit. Draken princess outfit. So yay! <laughs> yeah, the bush of shame is new. I thought I would put it up, uh, you know, in case I changed into something that was uh, not quite um, public standard. That way I could hide myself into a corner preemptively. <laughs> So yes, Bush of Shame is, is there for uh, setup and hiding things that I don't want uh, to hide. So it's just like, oh, I don't want you to see that. Let's go ahead and just put that over the thing I don't want you to see. So it's got multiple uses, like uh, private stuff. And it's just like, oh, hey, maybe I should hide that. That's a uh, project that I don't want you to see. So Bush of Shame comes out to hide some things. Let's go ahead. We want the render. Halo. We want collection. And we want fire particles. And there we go. And 
we want them to be... Actually, let's go ahead and change the rotation of all of these. Uh, put on... Eh, no, it doesn't matter, actually. Rotate on the Y-axis 90 degrees. Good. And let's go ahead and put these rotation, rotation of objects. And that's better. Uh, let's rotate these a little bit that way. There we go. That way they face the camera. And let's uh, see how that works for you. Alright, let's decrease that gravity. Uh, I want field weights. Field weights, let's get rid of the gravity entirely. See how that works. Yeah, I like that so far. But we need some randomosity to it. Velocity, let's turn this down actually to a 0.5. And let's turn the randomization up to a 0.5 as well. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Alright, and then... Let's see here. I think... I don't like how many particles are down below once it lands. But I also think there's too little particles as it flies through the air. I think what I can do also is, I think, and I was thinking about this, and I think I can do something pretty cool, and I'm going to see how it works. We're going to add in something really weird, I think. We're going to add in a cube here, and this is going to be a one-time doohickey with this arrow, or actually, you know what? I'm going to attach it to the bow. Um, no. No. What do I want to attach it to? Oh, I think I will actually attach it to the main bone here. I think this will do. Let me attach it to the main bone. Because then I can do move it around a bit when I need to. Object, like so. Let me do this. And put on, I'm going to put on an emission of this guy. Let's add on, this is going to be fire arrow path material. And I'm going to make this like so. Oh wait, no, that needs to be an emission. Let's go to this. And then increase the emission. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, and let's shrink this down even further. And then delete this transformation here so this cube is right there and I want it to I think I can just do this actually let's go ahead and rotate this cube and increase its size let's go to local and be no 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 I got it 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 Better idea, better idea. Let's grab the face of this angle. Shift S, cursor to selected, and I want to do a something different. Oh, oh God! Shit! Oh, here went my headphones. Oh my gosh, I unplugged my headphones. Oh. Oh, that was a little, too, little too quick. A little too quick. Thank you for the biddies. <laughs> um, 
Woo! <coughs> yeah, a little, a little too early. Woo! Mmm. <laughs> ah, hydrate. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's... Gosh, that scares the... That scares the poop out of me. Goodness sakes. Oh. All right. <laughs> Object set... Again, thank you for the 50 biddies. <laughs> geometry to origin. No, uh... Origin to geometry. Here we go. Wait, what? No, 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 no. That doesn't... That didn't work. Okay. Oh, oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Set origin to 3D cursor. That's what I wanted. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now, here... Let's go ahead and grab this guy really quickly. And let's see about this fire path here. Now I can stretch this guy wherever I want it to. Okay, good. Right about like so. Move it back just a tad. Let's rotate this guy down here. I think this looks really cool actually. I'm glad I decided to do this. And then it needs to actually fall back to here. It's going way too quick. Still too quick. Don't go too fast. Bing bang. Bing bang. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, right about here, I want it to start moving in this direction. So right about here. And then keep on coming down. So let's do this. Let's shrink this down. Keep on shrinking down. There we go. And then keep on following this path right to there. And then... Once it hits here, I want it to return to its normal state right there. And actually, let's go ahead and shrink this guy down to an almost infinite size and put it underneath Jen. Okay. So, yeah, look at that. I love that. Oh. Hey, Ash Lily. You're welcome to lurk. Uh... <laughs> uh, well, you're lucky, Owl. You are lucky that you don't you don't get startled by it. Yeah, look at that. I love that. Love that arrow. Jen, if you're still here, what do you think of this? That's your fire arrow. And let's go ahead and actually cut this off really sooner. So that's going to be fallen. And I want that to do that. Let's do 1077 for the particles instead. 1077. 1077. And that's actually going to change up how the particles go. Whoa, yeah, that is way too many particles. Let's turn this down to about 500. See how that goes. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. Whoops. Sorry. Do, 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 let's, let's render this, these particles in here a little bit. Actually, what I can do is do a particle rendering. There we 
we go. Pop. Yeah. Love it. Good. All right, now we need to get a little bit more uh, movement from Jen. Let's go ahead and she's gonna pull out yet another arrow. Mm, Actually, and she needs to come backwards a bit still with that movement that she's having after fighting the arrow. Uh, not fighting the arrow, firing the arrow. Uh, individual origins, that's what we want. There we go. Yeah. Alright, now we got Jen doing something. How much more do we need uh, something to happen? I think... Mm, let's see here. Let's get... Uh... I think... Let's get, uh... Let's get this Evil X doing something here, I think. Actually, you know what? No. Let's finish off Jen, just in case I forget about her. I don't want to forget about Jen, so we're just gonna finish up what we can with this. Let's grab another arrow, so she's gonna reach behind her. Uh, grab this. And then bring it up forward. Okay, good. And then she also has to kind of look around, so we're gonna. So. Hmm. Then from here, she needs to look behind her just a little bit. And she doesn't actually have to look there, but she is going to turn a little bit, though. It's just kind of like turning your head when you're uh, trying to reach in your back pocket. You can't see your back pocket, but you do turn your head. I think that hand needs to move a little bit slower. Uh, let's grab this and move that over here. I grabbed the wrong, raw, grabbed the wrong keyframe here. There we go. Much better, much, much better. Hmm. Oh, goodness sakes. Oh, hold on. I'm taking a posture check for myself. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness sakes. Oh. Give oh. myself a pasture shack. Oof. Oh, it's been an hour and a half so far. And we have gotten Orca Stereo animated in this small section, as well as most of Gen animated. So I think we're doing well. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, so... Goodness sakes, oof. Uh, regular water. I should actually hydrate myself as well. Much better. Alright, so she... Reaches behind her, and then she needs to follow the path of the arrow that she gets. Uh, let's go ahead and bring her back like so. Uh, no, I want this. Uh, 
scale. Save. Give it a quick save just to make sure. Oh. And actually, you know what? I think I'll do this. Um, I think I'll do a lock rock scale here. And I think I'm going to take all of this animation that I just made here. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Uh, duplicate. No, duplicate. And we're going to bring it on over here. Okay, yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do that. We're gonna see about uh, duplicating this arrow here. Right here. Where's that arrow anyways? I should have uh, put that arrow in a, probably a good place. Magic lettering. That's not good. Put that in the wrong spot. Ben MVP, of course. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put you inside of Jen here. Let's take this arrow, put you inside of Jen. Jen, there we go. Now the arrow is in Jen. And I kind of meant that in context. <laughs> It was an intentional joke. I'm sorry. I saw the opportunity and I took it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and duplicate this here. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. And let's go ahead and change up the animations for all of this. Uh, do, 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 do. right here. Okay, that's good. Why? Oh, that's right. The, the, the other cube needs to come in, too. Where is that other cube? This cube right here. Where is that other cube? That cube needs to go into the genfire area as well. Hello? I want you to go into Genfire area. Oh, you ain't gonna do it. You ain't gonna do it. Uh, move actors, people, Genfire. Where are you? There we go. Get in there. Get in there. All right, duplicate this guy too. And then all of this, I'm gonna grab you and put you over here. There we go. Perfect, good. And then let's go ahead and change something else about that arrow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. A side, um, super twist. Puka stabs Jen with an arrow. What? Betrayal. All right, let's go ahead and we need to change the particle system for. Oh, actually. We need to change the particle system for one of the cubes. This guy right here, let's go ahead and split the particle system. And I want you to start here. So, two, three, three. And it goes for about uh, 30 frames. I know so you two, have three, Nightbot three. now, but you control plus S. <laughs> Go with uh, 1260. All right, 
Give it a quick save. Thank you very much, LePenguin. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Shoot. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, Nightbot is trying to keep up. It can't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. There we go, okay. Alright, and then the arrow, the second arrow is actually going to be minimized up until this point right here. We're going to need to scale it down almost infinitely. Almost infinitely. So now we got two, two firings of this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I like that. I like that for sure. Oh. All right. Mm, Angel of Light, you need to place down a few more blocks. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put on uh, we cannot predict now. <laughs> no bot can keep up. No bot. Nobody. Nobody can keep up. Nobody. Go ahead and back you up. Back it up. But watch yourself. Back it up. Show me what you will come for. There we go. And then move back to here. Uh, get rid of this. Definitely not. Yes, yes. There we go. Okay, and then I want to take these. I want to take almost everything but this bone right here and duplicate it, actually. So let's go ahead and do that and see if that helps. Let's do that and let's duplicate this and let's put it down. See if we can actually get away with that. Yeah, I might actually be able to get away with it. I do need to fix this, however. All right, good. Let's keep on moving back, actually. Let's go ahead and move this guy back. Right here. Yeah, I like that, okay. Keep on moving back. And then let's go ahead and keep on moving you back. Alright, like so. And let's duplicate all those keyframes here. Let's duplicate these. Uh, grab this guy too. Let's actually slow this down. Let's go ahead and scale this up. Okay, good. Now all I need to do is move the move the position of the hands and move the position of the legs. I think that's good. Save myself a little bit of time on this animation. Shortcuts abound. Uh, scary the scary join us sound is from Evil's Fault. Um kind of. It is the same person that did that, but I re-recorded it for this one. Yes, it will be connected to Evil's Vault in some way. 
Um, as a matter of fact, what I want to do, one of the things I want to do, uh, let's see if we can actually do that. Uh, let's give this a quick save, and I want to see if I can get something pretty trippy on here. Uh, let's go ahead and add in another section to this whole mess. Uh, people, actors, lights, land. I don't have one for sky. New. And I want to add in a new collection. We're going to put you just below cameras, just above land. This one is going to be called sky. Um, how do I want to do this? Um, do, 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 How do I want to do this? Um... I think the best way that I can do this. Uh, doodly 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 do. Hmm. Let's let's see how process number one co goes and see if I need to do anything about that. Oh, but I want it to, I want it to grow and shrink, actually. I do want it to grow and shrink, so I have to do it something like that. I have to make something grow and shrink, but in a linear fashion and connected with each other. So, kind of like, think of a worm and how it's tapered on both ends and kind of fat in the middle. Uh, I need it. I need something to follow a nice path, but uh, let's see here. So what I need, um, I could do it the easy way. Let's try doing it the easy way. Let's do that. I think all I need to do is make planes. All I should need to do is make some planes, and actually, no, I could use cubes, because I do want it to, f to be some sort of striped effect. Let's do cubes, but without the sides. And... No, I can't do cubes. I have to do planes. That's right, okay. Let's try something. Let's make a shift A. Let's add in a UV sphere and let's go ahead and see what we want to do to this thing. All right, UV sphere. Hmm. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay, UV sphere, we need to separate you, sir. Let's go ahead and do a box select. Let's get rid of this. Faces. And let's do another selection here. Faces. Oh, wait, not faces. Aha! I know what I'm doing. Box select. We're going to get rid of this. Faces. Okay. So, what we want to do... This is going to be our sky, or one-fourth of our sky here. Why am I poking... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm poking my nose because that's not actually my hand. Ben, why are you poking my nose? Ben. Man. Why are you poking my nose? Or are you trying to boop the snoot? Hey, Kuba! How you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did make a mountain range. Do, 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 do. Remy, what are you doing? Oh, goodness sakes. Let's... Let's do something here. We want this to have a new type of area. Let's do... Concrete. Green. No, lime. I want lime concrete powder. Lime con concrete powder is what I want. Um. Hey guys, my puppy is walking around, kind of funny like. Um. 
Oh, wait, no. No, we're good. He's gonna settle down. Lay down, Remy. Lay down. We're gonna go outside. We're gonna all go outside. We're gonna take the puppies outside. So, quick stream break, guys. Sorry about this, but I just gotta make sure that he's not going to do another uh, explosion on stream. So, really quick, I'll be back. Someone subscribe. You need to thank them. Oh my them. god, they're Puka. so pretty. Look, look, look. Someone, Someone subscribed. subscribed. Quick, thank them. You need to thank them. Do it. You, do it.
Welcome. Hello. Sorry about that. Uh, puppy was walking around weird. And I forgot to shut my door. These are impossible. What are you doing? Oh, picky puppies. Picky, picky puppies. Had to close my door. I forgot about that. Sorry. Break from a break. All right. Where were we? You know, we were making this skyline. Or not skyline, the sky. Um, it's going to be kind of trippy. And I think it's going to be best if I use uh, this type of method. Right. Lay down. Goodness sakes. Um, oh, how gifted. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, Wiggly, did you give a... Did you give a... Oh, you gave a gift while I was away. Thank you, Wiggly. Thank you for doing that. Appreciate it. Hugs the Wiggly Fox. Goodness sakes. Hug at Wiggly Fox. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you very much, Wiggly Fox. Uh, top tier gifter. All right, so the top of this thing, we need to make lime concrete powder. Let's go ahead and add that in there. And we want to unwrap this thing in a cubic projection. Uh... I don't think that's working quite right. Uh, let's go to this. Yeah, that's not working correctly. Uh, unwrap. Uh, cubic projection. Nope, that's not gonna work. Yell. Quack. Eh. Cylinder. Spiritual projection. Uh, smart UV. Angle limit, we're gonna just, just say uh, zero. Yeah, there we go, that's what I want. All right, all of this scaled up. Do, 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 do. That's what I want, there we go. Let's do there, That that'll be good. Good, 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 that's what I want. Let's go ahead and bring in another material. We want black concrete powder. Or do we want obsidian? Let's do obsidian. Um, do, 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 do. Obsidian. Uh, crying obsidian. Uh, I can always change it if I want to see if it looks like something else better. Let's just do regular obsidian. Okay. And we want to change half of these over to black obsidian, I'm thinking. Let's do that. And in a pattern like so. So that way it's staggered a bit. There we go. All of you, I know I'm not telling too much, but... It is going to be kind of hard to describe how I want the sky to be. Let's do that. Assign it to that. All right, good. Got ourselves a green and black belt. Oh, do 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 do. And I want this uh, lime stuff to be emitting. So let's go ahead and change that up. And we want to add in a shader emission. And emission, and we're gonna put the dude there. Let's go to that item and make that obs that glow. And then we want the obsidian to see if it can glow too. Let's see here. Shift A, add in a shader, emission. This one's gonna be weird. Yeah, that'll work. Kind of awkward, but I'm not really going for really 
true to form stuff. All right, so I think that will work for our sky. And yes, that is going to be our sky. Weird, I know. Let's go ahead and increase that, that sky. All right. Let's make it like so. Bring it down a little bit. Right about there. Uh, actually, off to the side, that's right. Let's increase the sky's size even more. Bring it off to the side here. Increase the size. Move it off to the side. There we go. Um, and let's give this a rotation. Um, since it has a location, let's bring it over here. Let's see if we can give it a linear projection rotation. Um, I want you to rotate on your, which axis? Which axis can you work on? I want you to rotate on your Z axis. Z Euler rotation. Z Euler rotation. Uh, let's go to here. And we want to add a modifier. Generator. We want to generate some. Okay, that's moving way too fast. I mean, that's that's cool and everything, but no. Uh, let's see here. Let's give this a 0 .01 generator. Mm, still a little too fast, but it's work looking better. Now you're starting to see where I want the sky to go, aren't you? Point zero zero one rotation. Eh, a little too fast still. Let's do a point zero seven. Point zero zero seven. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do this with it. Let's go to layout and increase its scale this direction. All right, and bring you back down. All right, now let's go ahead and duplicate this guy and move it over to this side, like so. Whoops, okay. Like so, there we go. Whoop, and there's still something wrong with this scaling. Hello, what's going on? Why is it scaling like that? I don't like that. Oh, that's because it also has a problem here. Hydrate. Let's get a water bottle. Drink us some, some, some water. Ah. Still have it in my hand. Bing bang. Bing bang. <laughs> Bing bang. Alright, and... Uh... Still need to get that in the correct position. Grab, put you there. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and duplicate this guy. Let's rotate him uh, globally. Let's take this global. Rotate. Rotate Y 90 degrees. Let's get this into position here. See if this is gonna work out the way I want it to. All right, we got the top layer of this. Uh, let's rotate on the Z axis 90 degrees. Nope, not 90. 180 degrees. Let's see if that helps. I think that helps. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. Well, it helps for one of them. Uh, what if I start this out at a different position? 
like say right there. Whoops. There we go. Much better. And move you in. There we go. And then this guy right here. Let's duplicate him and move him right on up. Um, you need to be rotated a bit, don't you? Let's go ahead and give you a rotation. Right there. Perfect. Move this guy in. I know, this is wicked. This is wicked weird, I think. Uh, do, 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 do. And hopefully this makes a good effect. So... Now, anytime that you're looking around here, uh, do do do, move on up. Where's the scene? I lost the scene. Where's the scene? There's the scene. Okay. Now, when you're looking around here, mm, something's kind of lost. Something's kind of lost. Let me let me try something here. I don't think I like how this is going. Let's try something else. I want to use UV editing and I want to take all of these squares and increase them hugely. No, it's still lost. Still lost. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back. Okay. Scale. Nope. I want all of it scaled. Oh, is it good? I don't think so. I don't like how it's going. Alright, let's take a look around here. No, I don't like it. Plus, the sky has moved, and that's not supposed to happen. Why has the sky moved? Oh, goodness sakes, it's not how I wanted this to go. I think I may have just wasted my time. Yeah, I think I just wasted my time. I wanted a weird tunnel effect, I think. I wanted a, a weird tunnel effect, and it's not going how I want it. Oh, hello. Well, that's one reason why it's not doing anything the way I want it to. But now that I look at it, I really don't like it. Yeah, I think this is all just going to be scrapped right here. Yep, I just went down a rabbit hole that I don't like. Hmm. Oh, goodness sakes. How do I want this sky to be... I want this sky to be really, really weird. I want it to be super weird. And currently that's not working. I don't like it. Well, what if, what if I were to just take the world itself and just turn it straight green? Let's turn, uh, okay, the film, let's take the world. Uh, sure. A, add in a UV sphere. Scale it up. Let's turn this into eight. Scale up. Nope. Let's just delete that. Shift, add in an icosphere. Icosphere, and I don't want too many vertices. Um, subdivisions to one. There we go. 
Let's just do that. Increase its scale like so. We'll just make it green. Mm, how would you want to do this? I want to make a new thing. Emission. We'll just make this green. Like so. Color strength increase. There you go. And I don't want any shadows from this. Settings. Blend opaque. Shadow mode. None. So that the sun can get through. Alright. And I want it green. Uh, let's put in some cubes. Let's go to... I want some lava cubes, specifically from append magma cubes. I want some magma cubes. Minecraft palette. Collection. And I want some magma blocks. Magma slime. Uh, no, wait, that's right. Not. What is it? It's the uh, it's the block that you step on. The block that that burns you when you step on it. What is it called? Lava cubes, not lava tears. Lava cubes. Mag. Yeah, it's magma. Huh. Interesting. How interesting, that's not a part of the thing. Is it not labeled correctly? Do, do, do. Unless I, oh yeah, that's right, I went into collections, my bad. Uh, palette. This guy in. And I think I'll try something else. I think I'm gonna try. Um, I think I'm gonna try a trick that I used in Evil's Fault, which was basically a giant floating cube of magma cube. Uh, block. Magma blocks, my bad. Palette. Uh, delete that custom bone, delete the ice cream bone, unused, close all of those, ores, travel, ooh, goodness, 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 we want the nether, nether, here we go. Magma block. There it is. Zoop. Duplicate. And move into sky. And let's go ahead and get rid of the Minecraft palette. And items. Fire particles. Get rid of those. And the sky. Let's go ahead and increase this guy's scale. And that is going to be our sky. But we've got to put several of these around. So let's go ahead and put one over here. Do, 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 do. Let's do this. Scale up and move on in like so. All right, keep on scaling up. Good. Grab and bring you over to here. Oh, grab, bring you over to here. Good. 
I think I'll rotate you a bit, and I don't think I'm going to move you too much. Okay. Yeah, that works good. Okay, we'll do that, and we'll do another cube like so. Let's duplicate this guy. Bring him on over here. Increase his scale even bigger. And move him back a little bit. And then the first keyframe, yeah, let's not move like that. Move you on back. Doom, doom. And then over here, scale up. And then this keyframe, just get rid of that guy. Um, move him on over and rotate like so. Yeah, that works good. Works good. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this guy and do the same thing on this side too. Oh, keyframe sky. It's not quite the sky I was looking for, but it's the sky that I'm going to have. Let's get rid of these keyframes, too. You dropped something. What did you drop? I am bar wait. Who is back? I don't remember. Who is back? <laughs> Having difficulty with your memory there, so geez. Let's go ahead and duplicate this guy again. Move you on over here. Get rid of these keyframes, delete keyframes. Let's take a look at this area. Mm. Okay, we're gonna need one over there in that corner. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's duplicate this guy. Shift you on over and give you a big scale up. Uh, get rid of these other keyframes. We don't need them. Delete keyframes, thank you. Then this too. Alright, good. Quite the, the in the sky I was looking for, but it definitely does work. So all right, good. And then in front of that, what I can do is I can add in some smaller cubes that kind of float through space as well. So in front of that, so that's going to be the main background that kind of moves around, and then you got smaller cubes in front of that that kind of just float around. So let's go back to another keyframe here. Let's duplicate this and shrink it on down. Bring it on in. And shrink it on down again. Bring it on down. 
one, shrink it, there we go. Get rid of these other keyframes, we don't need these. Delete you. Delete, oh, wait, do it, nope. Delete these, thank you. And then this guy will just stay in between the big one and the little one. And then this guy can just move around like so, floating through space. And then, like so. And then, like so. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's actually bring you back a little bit because you're moving out of frame too quickly. Moving out of frame too quickly. And then this one over here is too far up. Let's have you coming out of the lava. So yeah. And this needs to actually rotate in the other direction. Yeah, we're good. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Um, and is watching the stream. <laughs> Magic. Thank you, Le Penguin. Glad it's looking okay. Hmm. Give <laughs> here and fire some some love. Yes, of course. Thank you, Ben, for for doing that. Because I know as Jen is going to be doing a live stream pretty pretty soon, or she started her live stream already. I can't recall which one. Which one is? I think she started. Let's do another one of these things. Duplicate, shrink on down, and then bring it on forward. Shrink, keep on shrinking. And then get rid of these keyframes here. Can't delete it. What can't you delete? Should be able to have permissions to do anything. Does well enough for the sky. Yeah, I think so. I just need something just kind of um, not really nethery, but kind of nethery. Something that gives a, a sense of too much depth to it. Where it's not not quite not quite real. Because the thing that sent me down this um, Oh. Can't delete the, sh the shout out? How odd. 
Oh well. It's not like we're gonna be, um... It's not like we're gonna be accidentally shouting out somebody that we don't want to shout out, right? But it is interesting that you can't bleed it. Very interesting. I think what I can do is something similar for Mr. Orca Stereo here as I did for Jen. Is I can add in some cubes that kind of act like lasers, I think. I can give Mr. Orc here his, some, some blue lasers. Alright, let's do that. Let's add in some lasers. Uh, Mr. Orc, where is your persons at? Actors, people new, orca stereo. Okay, let's go to add in a cube. cube here you're gonna have a new emission this is gonna be called mr. stereo laser yes laser is spelled incorrectly on purpose do an emission and we are gonna have you do blue lasers That's a good mission. There we go. Let's go ahead and add you to this bone particle here. Um, no. Yes, yes. Let's add you to this thing here. Bone relative. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, and we want you to do lasers at the right time. Let's zoom in here. And then we want you to do lasers. Let's actually Can't move this help but notice point. it's been a while since you saved, so for your own sake, control plus S. Thank you very much, little penguin. Appreciate you. Let's go ahead and I think I should put the origin point here. Uh, Shift S. I want the cursor just selected. And then object set origin to 3 cursor. Okay, there we go, and let's go with local here. All right, now let's go ahead and do a, like so. Okay, and then like so. Okay, uh, pion. Oh, do, 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 That's gonna be a lock rock track transformation and then let's grab this guy and bring him down here see if that does anything not so much what's happening here yeah not quite 
what I want. Let's go ahead and not do that. Yeah, that's okay. I think that's okay. Let's just shorten up that laser burst, though. Let's just shorten that up a little bit. Scrunch on down. Yeah, that's good. That's a good laser burst right there. And let's move that hand a little bit so that way we can get that laser. Laser in the visible area. Actually, what I think I'll do here with this is I'm going to shorten this time up a bit, too. Uh, infinitely? Oh, goodness sakes. Flying around throwing lasers. Uh, hmm. What if I add an emission to you? Let's do a duplication of the particle field thing in here. And do this. I'm gonna change you to a blue. Duplicate you, change you to a various blue. Duplicate you, change you to a various blue as well. And then I want on this guy to have a particle f particle emission um, right about here. So one 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 five six. Let's add in. One, one, five, six. Hydra. Bing bang. Bing bang. You would have had me there. You would have had me there. Almost, but not quite. Come on, lay down, down. Good girl. Lay down. There you go. Right next to me. That outfit is not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Hmm. <laughs> uh, you will need to hide behind a bush for this one. I will? <laughs> what's the What's the one that you're uh, giving me then? Is the one that I think you want? All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hey, Puka! Puka, you know how you've had that dress from Draken? Yeah, the one that you said that she gave to you? She did. She did. She, she, she gave it the jet dress. We need to give it back to her, okay? Sometime before the stream ends, you know? Just just need to give it back to her. Okay, okay. all right. Well, what do you have in place for it? Um, We're going to get back to you on that one, okay? Not this again. So, okay. Alright, fine. Well, here's the dress back. Just hurry back, okay? I, I am currently still on stream. I haven't ended my stream yet. <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. Quack. Coca, thank you, and thank you very much for the follow. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly get dressed here. Um, I gotta give this dress back to somebody, so give me a second. Um, let's put, grab the Bush of Shame. <laughs> uh, and we gotta change into something different here. Alright, uh... uh Alright, well, so here's the dress, guys, alright? Alright, awesome. Um, just, just hurry back with what, whatever I'm wearing next. Okay, yeah, sure, sure thing. Let me, um... <laughs> 
Let me get myself uh, stuck behind uh, stuck behind here. Thank you very much. All right, bush of shame. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So there. So um, we gotta wait for the pretty horses to uh, come back with uh, whatever it is that I am wearing after this. <laughs> Quit picking my nose. <laughs> It's you that's picking my nose. I'm not picking my own nose. Ah, thank you for yeah, thank you for the follow there, Coco. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get to kill the emission at this point. So one one six one one six six. We're gonna kill the emission there. And then we need the particle system here. This is gonna be laser particles. This is gonna be laser particles. And we want some randomosity to this velocity. No gravity. Now let's turn normal velocity down to a point two and turn the random velocity up to a point four. Okay, and then this should... Oh, I need to have the render. Need to have the actual thing. Let's do a collection and we want laser. Hello. Le... Hello. Uh, you're not giving me what I want. Insert collection. Lay. Ooh, I didn't spell laser correctly, that's why. Laser particles. There we go. Let's try that. Do 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 Actually, you know what? That helps out perfectly. I like that. I like that. And let's do let's do uh some more physics here. Let's do a rotations on these and let's let's randomize all of this for a lot angular velocity let's do all of that yeah okay that that works out good and let's turn down the lifetime of these particles too and the lifetime randomness all the way up Lifetime, let's do 25 frames of a lifetime. Yeah, that works out good. I like that. So, now, Yeah, that works good. I like that. Look at that. Oh, that is good. Let's do that again. Let's do it again! And let's do it this time over to the Jeff bot. We're gonna have to actually aim this arm. Mm. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, so he fires there, and then we're gonna have to fire from here. So let's go ahead and do that. Bring down that arm. Alright, and then the cube that's inside here. There it is. All duplicate. Okay, and this needs to stretch all the way over to this Jeff bot here. There we go. Almost, not quite. Buzz. Laser girl. <laughs> Look at that go. Not exactly what I was going for. But... We can use it, though. Not exactly what we're going for, but I can use it. So let's go ahead and... 
Let's go ahead and move this over to this point here. Aim it just a little bit better. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Nope, nope, I'm missing, I'm missing. Let's pull this up and over. There it is. Perfect. And then let's bring this guy back down. Right there. Awesome. Good. Perfect. Okay, good. Now that we have the laser aiming properly, let's go ahead and give it its particle system again for these points. So right here, we're going to do the particle system again. Uh, let's duplicate it. Oop, wait, nope, that's not what I want. I want to duplicate particle system. Let's split it, and we want 1,200 is when it starts. Uh, isn't it uh, quite early, late for... Yeah. It's, it's quite an early for a lot... In, early and late for a lot of the world around. Eight twenty nine. Yep, it's a little closer to me. Sparkly message. We want to continue this laser till twelve eleven, and then so it goes. Let's get this. Good, 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 good. I like how that goes. And then let's start this next one at 12.38. 12.38, and I want it to end at 12.50. 12.50. Okay. And then let's do a quick... Oh! Ooh! I messed that up very badly. Very badly. I made a mistake. Duplicate particle system and split this up. Now I want to do 1238. 1238. And 1250. 1250. There we go. Your character a bit higher. Uh <laughs> Um, yeah, I have the ability to move my character higher. I do, in fact, have the power to move my character. Oh, hey, I have a bagel over here. Would you look at that? Hmm. Good bagel. Hmm. I'm sorry, Ben. What did you say? Something. I can't. Sorry, not sure what you said. Something. Anywho. Let's uh, get these particle systems cashed in a little bit. Let's do a bake here. Thank you for the follow there, Captain Moose. Get yourself a little character down there, running around. Now our little laser system kind of works perfectly. Kind of works perfectly. I like that. Oh, I like that. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I like that very much. Hmm. Eh, <laughs> your Twitch rivalry. Hmm. Mm-mm. -mm. Bagel. Alright, 
at least the particles are fixed up. Good. Good, 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 good. So we got Genfire firing off arrows. We need to get, um... We need to get, uh... Let's see here... Angel placing down some blocks properly. So let's go ahead and do that, because he's just kind of floating over here. Let's move these backwards, so... Do, 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 do. These, all of these, need to move backwards a bit. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, animation. And we want the right arm and the left arm. Right arm and left arm. And we want to change the Y location is what we want to do. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. The location didn't change. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, that's because I don't have any animation for that arm. Huh? Interesting. Uh, Y location. Let's go ahead and do a box selection. Change that Y location. Grab Y. That outfit is not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! <laughs> oh, hey, guys, um, I, I'm kind of, kind of a little, um, pantless here. Do you could think you could actually give me a, some pants as well as, uh, something else? Can't yeah, watch here long you go. for two months or so cause of big exams, but we'll still come to say hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, CD, good to see you. Yeah, we got something for you. We got you a scarf. Do you have any pants for me? Um, yeah, yeah, we do. They kind of came with them. Um, but yeah, here's some, here's a scar for you. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you very much. Uh, it'll give me a chance to get out of this bush over here. Thank you. Um, put on the scarf right here. Penguin scarf. There we go. Awesome. And minimize that. And I can move myself back up. Do do do. Much better. Bush, less of shame, but still of shame. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I do not have the ability to do that, Ben. If I if I could add on just items. I would, but I cannot. <laughs> uh, the pants came with the scarf. That's what happened. They, they just happened to have uh, pants with the scarf. If I could do just items, I would, but I can't. It's a whole ordeal to just, just do that stuff. Each one of these is a separate model. Which is kind of difficult. There we go. Let's move this even more. Grab Y. There we go. Actually, no. There we go. And then let's grab these ones as well. I think that's dog treat sound, isn't it? Pets the treat! Give some pets to my treats. I know, it's almost time for regular food. But not yet. Not yet. They're right next to your eyeball. Aren't you gonna eat them? No? Silly persons. Silly persons. There you go, Akita. They're next to your eyeball. You don't want to eat them? 
Look. Look. You lazy dog. Goodness sakes. Oh my gosh. What what is what is you? What is you? <laughs> Silly dog. You're just laying at it, looking at me from the floor, and it's just like, are you gonna give me a treat? It's like, yes! It's next to your face! <laughs> Gosh, guys. Silly dogs. I swear. Alright, let's do a grab Y. Bring these over here. Good. Uh, grab Y. Yeah, there we go. Now we got, now we got him putting down the blocks, blocks properly. Let's get his legs into place. Because legs have expression, right? Alright, so we gotta put those legs there. And then we gotta take a step back from here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, layout. Do, 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 do. Let's move this leg right about here. Pick that leg up. Yep, we're good. Doing good. Let's do the same thing with this leg, too. And then put this leg right there. There we go. Like so. Bring that foot up. Do, 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 do. Oop. These needed to get deleted, though. Can you plus show what you did today? Yes, I will be showing uh, what did today. Speaking of Control S, should make sure that I save everything I've done today. Mm -hmm. do put that down and then this one needs to get deleted too because that foot is sliding in a direction I don't want it to go yeah good 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 let's move this foot as well right about there move that foot up yep good 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 do the same thing with this guy Foot over there and make sure you don't step off the edge watch where you're walking there angel and then let's let's move this foot back further just in case okay there we go And you know what? This isn't turning out quite the way I want it to. So let's go ahead and take one of these things. Uh, let's duplicate this. And we're going to move it over to here. And let's just get rid of these keyframes here. So we have somewhere to step. Goodness sakes. And then this foot, you need to be putting down here. So you're running out of space here, Angel. There we go. Control plus S. Nightbot begin saving. Hmm, Puka, what did you do today? Yep, we're gonna show it. Don't worry. What did he? Oh, what did he, did he you do today? I read that as an actual, you know, regular.
with Dottie. What Dottie did you do today? <laughs> Alrighty, so step, step, good, good, good. And that doesn't, that doesn't bode well here. Hold on. Uh, this guy right here. Nope. Get your hand out of there. There we go. Good. Good, good. Okay, good. So plop, plop, and then... Lop. Okay, good. Right here. This is what we need. Let's duplicate this guy and then move over those keyframes to here. Like so. And then flop right here. Let's duplicate this guy and bring him up. Grab. Bring him on up. Oh, there we go. Mass bomb. Oh. Plop. And then plop. Right here. I need another one of these guys. Let's duplicate you. Bring the one over. Plop. Plop. And right here. There, let's duplicate you again. Grab the keyframes and bring this guy on up. There we go. Save. All right, so now this angel character should be plopping down blocks. Good. Plop, plop, plop. Good. Plop, plop. And this part and portion isn't going to be seen. So. <laughs> so today. Oh, goodness. Uh, you can do whatever you want. It is on a five minute timer uh, for people to, uh, for people to do, uh, to at least see this dress for five minutes or so. So you can redeem your points however you want to. All right, so I think what needs to happen is, I think... That outfit is not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! <laughs> oh. Hey, Puka, we made a mistake. What's that? Did you steal the penguin scarf? I uh, no. No, we're, 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 we're done stealing. For 15 minutes, okay? We're done stealing for 15 minutes. But we gave you pants, okay? You gave, okay, you gave me pants. Are, um, is this for another dress? Yes, it is for another dress up, okay? Um, but you can't wear pants with this one, okay? So give us those and we'll give you the other one back, okay? You're not gonna wait for five minutes again like last time, right? No, no, we're gonna be right here and we're gonna give it right to you. All right. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, drag you. Um, let's go ahead and grab the bush. Bush of shame. Bush of shame. Bring this on up. Let's change into out of this stuff right now. Okay. All right, now give me the dress. All right, so you're gonna give me the dress, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, give us a minute. Oh, we dropped it. We dropped it over somewhere else. It says, um, we gotta go back and get it. Whoopsy, clumsy hooves us, you know, and everything, you know. We'll, we'll go get it. Okay, just wait here five minutes. Really? Really? We'll be back. Okay, bye. No, push your shame. Okay. Hi again. <laughs> uh, 
Um, again, again, problem with the uh, the dress setup. We will just um, we're just 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 gonna be right down here in the corner. Okay, just uh, uh, hopefully they come back within at least five ish minutes or so. <laughs> uh, uh, don't my... <laughs> don't tell me they dropped my press. No, they got yours back. The one that they were going to give me, they dropped on the way over here. So you have yours back. Um, just uh, whatever they were going to give me, they dropped somewhere along the line. It, uh, if it is yours, my, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. So I was going to say that uh, before I was so rudely um, disrobed... Um, this is uh, currently what we've done all day. We're actually going to um, start winding things down a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's see what we've done. So everything we've done is pretty much in this section right here. But we've made in, we've added in more Angel of Light building blocks. We've added in uh, Gen fire firing the bow. We've added in Orchestereo flying in and using his lasers. So we've added in this stuff. Yeah, there we go. I like that. I like this little war scene we've set up. Haven't added in any of the sounds though. But yeah, I love how this is turning out. We've added in a little bit of a sky to make things seem a little bit trippy and kind of uh, impossibly large, which I kind of like. We want we don't want this to be nether. We want this to be a nightmare. Bang, bang. Yeah, so this isn't the nether, it's the nightmare realm. And I wanna try and bring that across visually. I don't wanna describe it because describing it kind of because feels of like cheating. awesome fur, arctic foxes can withstand temperatures as low as negative 70 degrees <laughs> celsius that's when the poor fellas start shivering jeez nev negative 70 degrees celsius <laughs> jeez goodness says shoot you off into space and you'll just be fine as long as you can breathe <laughs> Ah, uh, I am not a fish. <laughs> Why don't you act his kid move his character up a bit? You you could ask me. You could ask me. <laughs> I, I I might find another bagel randomly and get distracted. <laughs> Random fact of the day. Puka. Okay, what's the random? Oh, is that's the random fact of the day. Yes. Uh, Alright, so yeah. I like how this scene has turned out. It's turned out pretty good. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. this look at this setup that we have. I like this. Uh, this, this. This nether scene is turning out pretty good. So, the idea behind some of this is that when um, when uh, they start getting kind of closed in, Puka's going to be able to open up the portal, and Angel of Light is the only one going to be able to get through. So, that is the idea. Mr. Bang Bang earlier. <laughs> Mr. Bang Bang. After stealing the shirts from the closet, I put them to my bed and return them four days later. You know, I'm wondering if the the horses are gonna return my clothes four days later too. <laughs> Just kind of chilling here, like so. <laughs> hey, Kuba. Take care. This is probably going to be the end of the stream as of right now. So, alright guys, we are going to start winding down. Let's go ahead and get our wind down music going. 
All right, so yeah, this this um this part of the animation takes quite a bit just because of all the moving parts. There's there's a lot. <laughs> no, we're starting a boss. Ah, uh, you know what? You know what? Fine, fine. We will, we will, we will stay for the boss. We will stay for the boss. We will stay for the boss. I'll do that much. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll stay for the boss. Is not looking oh no, the pretty horses are the boss! Look, look at that! Here. Outfit change! <laughs> uh, it's like, hey Puka, Puka, I got something for you. Um, well, we weren't able to find the dress Fox, for you. I'm waiting for you. And it's just like, okay, well, did you bring back anything for me? Yeah, um, here you go. Really? That's that's it. That's that's all you have for me, is is just that. Yes, that's all we have for you. Oh goodness sakes. Um, sure. Okay. Um, well, I'm still not coming out from behind this bush though. It's like, oh, okay. Well, whatever, Mister Inferior Bipedal. Um. So the the pretty horses gave me one thing, and let's see here. Penguin scarf. Yeah. Um, they gave me the scarf. So. <laughs> they didn't give me my pants back, though. <laughs> just the scarf. What am I supposed to do with just the scarf? I, I guess I'm a little, little bit warmer. Around the head region, I guess. What 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 can we do while the boss is being defeated? Cause if this is gonna be an easy boss, uh, I think he did a easy boss, was it? Boss should be mm, killed relatively quickly, right? Do 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 do. Um, gosh, um, mm, I could, I could, the only thing I can do is, uh, yeah, well, I, I could do, uh, I'm waving, wave, wave, this is me dancing. <laughs> This is this is me dancing. Ish. I am not picking my nose. I told you, you're the one that's picking my nose. You're reaching over to my face using your finger inside of my own nose. How dare you? I mean, I would appreciate it if it was a boop on the snooth, but no, it's picking my nose. It's your hand. My hand's not yellow. <laughs> In 2016, scientists detected a radio signal from a source 5 billion light years away. Okay. This means that when the signal started its journey, Earth didn't even exist. The hmm. detected signals were located using the very large array, the LA, of the National Rat. Ah. Ah, I cut out part of that. Okay. Interesting. So that's 250 characters. I reduced part of the text to speech uh text to speech limit. So that's 250 characters for the text to speech. I might I might reduce it just a little bit more actually. 
<laughs> oh, oh, so you're gonna start the you're gonna start the boss battle, but you have to go. <laughs> I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> uh, take care, Ben. Be safe. All right, what else can we do? What else can we do? Um, I got, I got that all set up. I guess I could start to put in some posing animations for Evil X over here. So he was going to be the next person that I start working on. So let's get him into a type of pose. Do do do. And then let's bring him into a type of pose. I'm gonna return this lower body and then this upper body here. And then the head, like so, arm down. Yeah, like so, there we go. Bring in this a bit too. You can give everyone free points. I could give you free points, just like I could move my character up when he doesn't have quite enough to be publicly decent. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you can do pan. Yeah, yeah, you can. You. <laughs> you can. Since it is a, supposed to be winding down, you could do panic just for fun if you wanted to. <laughs> because I, I, I at least see that, you know, something's happening. And panic! Bing bang, 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 bing bang. Bing bang. <laughs> panic button has been pressed. And now we're all around a small little table deciding who is actually the imposter. And I still think, even though Ben has left, I still have sus on him right now. <laughs> Red button meme, right? Alright, so now... All right, and then let's get some ambient movement here. Like so, and then this arm, like so, and then this arm, a little bit wobbly. There we go. All right, and then I want these two keyframes to be moving like so. There we go. Much better. Hmm. Are you sure? People that say that I'm not the imposter are usually the imposter. Pook imposter. <laughs> imposter drawing? <laughs> That's exactly what an imposter would say. Uh, give it a quick save again. CD! It's your turn. It's your turn, CD! <gasps> Out of time! You gave something or other. I think you healed somebody. Oh no! CD died! CD died. Boss is about to be defeated, though. NPC bot says. Heal. Healed somebody, at least. There you go. <laughs> On stream. On Discord. <laughs> Alright, and then... Uh, this one needs to be moving around just a little bit more. 
Let's see here. And just a little bit more. Yeah, 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 that works good. That works good. One more hit. Let's do this. And the boss. And the boss is dead? The boss is dead. Arctic Space Fox. Mortal Strike. There you go. Boss is dead. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. That seemed like a hard boss. Was it a hard boss? Helen, thank you for the follow. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you for coming by. Thank you, Ellen, for the follow. We got some animation done. I got at least Evil X done a little bit more. Don't you eat that. Leave it. Go away. Dog was trying to eat off of, the, off of my plate. I told him no. All right. We are going to figure out who we can raid. Gee, who should I raid? It's really only one person that I want to raid. It really is. And I'm pretty sure you guys can guess who it is. Let's go ahead and pull up their stream. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, I will. Um, so go ahead. Go ahead and deem it, and I'll stay there like this. Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> All right, we're going to go raids uh, him or her. Gosh, why did I call her him or her? Her him. <laughs> Get rid of this. And do that. Um, <laughs> you don't even have points. <laughs> I'll save them for next stream. We'll we'll change up when we do. Uh, we'll do it when we have next stream. All right, let's all raid Jen. Give her hugs. Give her a puka raid of hugs. Give her because she's been uh, doing a lot. Zodiac. Outfit change! Oh no, we're about to raid! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Gotta change right on stream! Do 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 do! Zodiac! Gonna grab myself! Ta da! Zodiac! Oh no! Two! One! Hello. Hi. How are you? Doing okay. Let me go ahead and kill most of my background noises here, so that way I can hear you guys better. Okay. Um, Penguin, you want to ask something, right? Yes. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but a new person asked where you were from. Um, oh, no, I didn't. The liberty of answering that. Yes, but... how did you answer that? Like, oh. I answered USA Ohio, but I'm yeah. not sure how they know you want to do this. No, that's, USA Ohio is fine. 
If I want to be specific, I any more specific, I'll give them my give it myself. Yes, that's yeah. what I was gonna ask about. Is yeah, yeah. how personal information can we deliver? Out? Oh, information. if they want any more than that, um, they probably need a timeout because <laughs> it's just like, uh, no, you don't need to know. Thank you very much. <laughs> but you don't mind that we say you're from the state of Ohio? No, 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 that's fine. Okay. I, I told her that she published a pic uh, brand of your avatar with an Ohio I bought it sticker. So. Yes, that's that's right. I did do that. <laughs> I just did I have uh, question two. Okay. How much freedom do we have with network commands? Because there are two sides. One is you know everything that goes on it on Nightbot, every command and everything is at your your permission and your order. And the other side is we can troll you with that stuff, but not too much. Like, um, you guys you know? have yeah, you can guys can surprise me with anything that you want. Um, I'm okay with um because if something pops up and I don't like it. I, I I usually just think like oh okay well we'll just change it back to the way it was because uh, no, yeah if wait we talked about it with Jen yesterday that there are two sides one is that you are fully on 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 hand and you know everything that goes on in there the other side mm -hmm. is that we have the freedom to troll you a bit with stuff yeah you control me yes yeah you yes. control me goodness yes. sakes. I'm gonna say so you can now guys control me. I mean, now come on, people. Several people asked if I if my avatar could be derobed on on stream. <laughs> I, I think I think trolling is okay on this stream. Okay, now the notes we have, and um, you need to update the list, the dress up list again. We oh yes, yes, I do. Uh, there I was a lot that I added that. yesterday. There was a lot that I, I added yesterday. I but I don't know, you, some, you sometimes have names for the stuff that mm -hmm. I don't know. Also, some, someone noticed that Hell's Night isn't in the list or something. Mm -hmm. So he, needed, he, needed to be, he needs to be added too. 